guys, Delana B here and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you guys can see from the title of the video today, we are doing a breast cancer look. Uh, we are 15 days into October and I have yet to do anything pink. <laughs> and I'm, I'm behind, you know, I'm behind. So I wanted to come on here and bring this for you or bring this to you guys just to kind of put it out there. We are 19 days into breast cancer awareness. The month is almost over with and I am just now putting something out for you guys. And I know I'm terrible, but guys work with me. It, I Listen, I have been getting my life together. I have been living my best life. And so here we are now, okay? So I just wanted to do a quick little pink look for you guys. Um, I use all pinks, believe it or not. It may look purple, but I did use all pinks and you guys will see it in the video. I just know how to tweak certain colors to make them be what I want them to be. Um, because it is breast cancer awareness, if you are a woman, please make sure that you are doing your breast examinations, making sure that you are checking yourself. I did mine this morning. I, I'm forgetful as well, so you know I won't I won't hold that against you, but just make sure that you are checking those boobies. If you feel anything that is wrong, go to the doctor immediately to make sure that you are okay. Um, my grandmother died from breast cancer, so I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there to you guys. And we, I think we all at this point know someone who has been affected by cancer one way or the other. So I just wanted to bring this to you guys a little quick tidbit, right quick, right there, right there, you know. And let's just go ahead and jump right into all right, guys, so I've already gone ahead and I've done my eyebrows off camera. If you guys would like an updated eyebrow routine, just let me know. It's been a while since I've done one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prep my eyes with the P. Louise base, the rumor 2. And I'm just going to put this on my eyelid just a little bit, not too much. But today we are going to, as you guys saw, we're going to go ahead and do a pink look. And I have, I have not done any kind of pink look <laughs> I don't know what I am doing it is breast cancer awareness month and I'm tripping so we are about to get this cleared right now because I don't like it usually I um I think it's because of the pandemic though because usually like if I was working I would literally wear pink every single day um but since we aren't working, you know, I've been in my pajamas. I have not really been doing makeup like that for real, for real. I mean, I did for my birthday and all of that good stuff. But it, I didn't wear pink. So, you know, I didn't do a pink look. But today, girl, we are going to do a pink look. All right, so now that we've got that base, you know, taken care of and whatnot, I am going to use um, a few different... <laughs> I'm going to use a few different palettes. They're all Juvia's Place and they all um, have like pink hues in them. So it's going to be the Masquerade palette, the Dose palette, and the Zulu palette. So let's just see where we're going to start because I really, um, I don't know where, I, I don't know where I'm going to start with it. So let's just look and see. So to start out, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this color here. And it's like a um, like a pink color here. And I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. And I am just going to use a Taper Blending Sigma E40 brush to kind of pack this into my crease. Now, I don't know if this will show just because the pink is kind of opaque. Well, it's showing. So I'm just going to kind of put that in the crease and just kind of like build this up now this color is a little bit chalky but we gonna make it work like it's a, it's a pastel color and you know pastel child sometimes they work sometimes they don't so i'm just going to pack this in first before i begin to blend it almost looks like chalk moving on to the next pink color we're just gonna lay layer a bunch of pink so we're gonna take this color here and I'm going to use my Morphe M518 brush which is a little bit smaller than the one that I was just using and I'm just going to take this pink color and I'm going to pack it right underneath where I just put that other pink pastel and we are just going to build this up you can build it to your liking but we're just going to kind of build this up and see where we go with it. I don't know <laughs> where we're going with this. 
but we just go go with it and I'm kind of gonna like kind of blow it out a little bit on the side just a little bit all right so now I want to go in and deepen up that pink a little bit and y'all know that I cannot do like purple shadows which it would have been a bomb deep color like a um to deepen it up but I'm gonna go in with this color here and it might look a little bit purple on camera no it looks pink it is it's a pink and I feel like it's going to deepen up that what I already have going on here so I'm gonna go in with an even smaller brush which is a Morphe 503 brush and I am just going to kind of pack and blend this color into the crease all right so we've got that going the way that I wanted to and um I'm trying to debate on if I want to cut this crease or not I'm kind of over the cut crease crank crank <laughs> trend so what I think I'm gonna do is I am just going to take um, I have two different ones that I kind of want to use I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here so I'm gonna go into this color here which is like a pink um glittery shade and I'm just gonna go in with uh I think this might be a MAC brush I'm not sure and I'm just going to see what this does without cutting the crease because I really don't want to cut the crease like I'm just not really feeling cutting the crease so I am going to just put this all over my lid as much as I want okay guys so we've got that lid color down and i like the way this came out like it's it's simple but it's pretty okay all right so we've got this going and i like it um i feel like i should have threw some blue in there but because we're going with pink we're gonna leave it where it is and um yeah so to finish off the eye i am just going to take my nyx matte liquid liner and i'm gonna just wing this out just a tiny bit all right, so I have gone ahead and I've done my liner and I am just going to pop on some lashes and the lashes that I'm going to use, I found these at my local beauty supply and they're called La Flair. La Flair, yeah. And it says 3D Cashmere and this is what they look like. Very fluffy, very dramatic for me. So I had already used the pair. This is what they look like. Let me see if I could make these so y'all can kind of see what they look like. They're very fluffy. They're very dramatic if, you know, lashes aren't your thing, which for me, these are very dramatic. But I'm going to go ahead and pop these babies on. And I'm just going to use my duo lash glue. It's not anything fancy, anything spectacular. And, um, yeah, I am just going to pop these on. The, and when you're doing lashes, the key is to kind of look down. When you're applying them let the glue get tacky once you apply them to the lashes and kind of try and get as close to the lash line as you possibly can i also like to take my tweezers and use the flat side to kind of get right in there rather than using the pointy side because you can like stick yourself in the eye trust me i have so you just want to make sure that you don't stick yourself in the eye and you kind of get it as close to the lash line as possible. Voila. There we go. Cute, flirty, fun, good to go. Boom. In that thing. <laughs> Alright, so for face, we are going to move into our NARS Soft Matte. Um, if you guys have not seen my review on this foundation, please go ahead and check that out. I will have it scrolling for you guys. This is perfect for anyone that has oily skin, but wants that full coverage, flawless coverage. I think I put a little bit too much. That's okay. We're going to catch it. But it also works for drier skins as well because I have, right now my skin is like on the drier sides because, you know, the seasons are changing and whatnot. It's not cold yet. It's not fall either, but, you know, the seasons are changing. But this works amazing on my skin. And like I said, I have dry skin, so 
I absolutely love it. It is a flawless foundation. But like I said, you guys can see the tutorial on the foundation, how I used it, what I thought about it, you know, everything, wear test, all that good stuff. It is linked. I should have it scrolling for you guys, but yeah, go ahead and check that out. I realized I had y'all zoomed in too fast. Y'all wasn't seeing the whole <laughs> application process. But I got y'all. Don't even trip. I got y'all. Alright, next I'm going to move into, usually what I like to use with this foundation is my NARS concealer, but I am just going to go in with my NARS shape tape, I mean my um, Too Faced. I'm going to go in with my Tarte shape tape, and this is in the color Tan Sand, just to kind of see how it works with it. I'm not going to use a lot, just because I don't think it's necessary. I'm just going to use a very little bit, and I am just going to blend it out using that same Beauty Blender that I use to do my foundation. And I like to do that just because my foundation, I mean, not my foundation, my concealer is already bright. And by me using the back of the sponge that I use for my foundation, I feel like it just tones that concealer down a little bit more. And it doesn't make it as bright because like I wanna highlight, but I don't wanna be like too, too bright. You know what I mean? So using the back that I use for my foundation kind of helps tone it out a little bit. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad. Um, I feel like my NARS works a little bit better with this foundation in particular, but it does not look terrible. So I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to contour while I let that kind of sit for a minute before I start to set it. And I'm just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette or contour kit and I'm just going to go into this color here and I am going to contour a little bit and I am going to use a BH Cosmetics contour brush and I am just patting this I'm not going to blend it out just yet because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bronzer to blend out what I set down it's a just a little technique that I've been using that I've been kind of liking lately so I, I place it first don't forget your nose and then I'll go in and I'll blend it using my um my bronzer so this is my Becca bronzer and I'm just using a fluffy Morphe brush. And I'm going to now kind of blend out what I sit. Does that make sense? And I'm also going to go ahead and set this concealer. And I'm going to use the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. And this is in Plantain as well as Yellow. So I am just going to mix the two using my fluffy elf brush just a overall brush and I'm going to dip into the both of them and kind of tap off the excess and I'm going to set this really quickly all right so now that I've got that set and everything I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray my face because I'm looking real powdery right now so i'm just going to use my mac fix plus and i'm just going to spray a healthy amount to kind of let that start settling in because i don't like that powdery dry look i don't like that all right babe so this is the final look this is my pink um look that i came up with for breast cancer awareness i know it may be a little bit more purple for some of you but for me this is pink um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you guys for loving me as I love on you and give you guys these videos. Let me know what y'all want to see because I, I feel like I'm, I'm getting a little, not burnt out, but burnt out. So let me know what you guys want to see down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.